Now we're going to attempt a repair on this Samsung laser printer. It gives an error message A1-4111. It is a very famous error relating to actuator motor. But it's actually not the motor but something else. I'll show you how we can fix this together. Start by opening the front cover. Remove the three screws in the front. Turn the printer around and open the back cover and there are two screws here that need to be removed. This screw is different to the other so make sure to put it on the side carefully. You'll need to pull the side cover open, so you pull it towards you and you will need to lift the printer a little bit to the side to free it and let it come out easily. This little part here on the left, a magnetic component, is where the fault is. The gap there is too big. There is a little padding inside which, which um, keeps it away from the magnet to a certain degree. And this little pad wears out over time. So you'll need to remove that pad and put something um, similar size. Or you may put another sticky tape or some other cushion on top of the existing one. Now we can see it in action. As you can see, it's uh, releasing and locking when it needs to. And sometimes it cannot lock when it needs to and this is where the problem is and that's why you get an error message. Here we go, the error message again after calibrating or turning on. Make sure to disconnect the power adapter and then remove one screw on the bottom left there. And then gently try to pull it out of its position. Be careful the cable for the power is still connected. So you just want to gently remove from its position just like that and that's the position you'll be working in. As you can see, the, it levers back and forth and the magnet at the back pulls it in when it needs to and that little padding there is what we're going to replace. I'm going to remove the old padding with a sharp tool, so be really careful. This little guy is what's giving us all the trouble, so we're going to go ahead and replace it with something more durable. I decided to use a prying tool, similar to the ones used for mobile phone repairs, or a guitar pick if you like. You can find these on AliExpress or many popular websites. It's basically a small plastic prying tool. I've cut it to a rectangular size, put a double side tape, and simply remove the other side of the sticky tape and then stick it on the metal plate.
just like that. You can use anything you like, as long as it's not too thick or too thin. And insert the screw back. Now let's watch it in action, see how it goes, and do a test print. As you can see, no more error message. And here is the test print. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to support this channel.